صلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن والاه اللهم لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم اللهم وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم an Arab brother, Muslim, of course, he visited one of the countries of Eastern Europe. For those who know, before 1989, if I'm not mistaken, you know, we used to have East Europe, not, you know, Western Europe. Before the collapse of the wall of Berlin, we have the communist Europe and the whatever, <laughs> Western Europe. So one of the Arabs, he visited one of the countries from Eastern Europe. Yo, I forgot the problem because I heard the story about maybe more than 15 years ago uh, about this guy, so I forget which name of this Eastern Europe country is. Anyway, so he was at that country having a taxi. Out of a sudden, he saw a very old car, very old man driving this old car on the back of the, uh, you know, the, the glass of the car. He wrote the following statements. If you want to know something about Islam, please stop me. <laughs> so it was, you know, something very interesting. He asked the taxi driver to stop him. So look what happened. Very old car, very old man. It seems he's very humble and very poor. And he speaks just the language of that country. So the taxi driver stopped him. Okay, what's this? We, know, we need to know something. For the amazing, he went to the trunk of the car. You know, Sunduk al Khalfi, the trunk of Kaka. He opened it, then he asked, okay, which language you speak? They discovered that he brought like pieces of wood and he made like, you know, across lines, he made like boxes. Each box is full of small brochures in different languages, for about maybe 20, 25 different languages, you know, Ta'rif with Islam, introduction to Islam. What's the point? This is a retirement man. Okay, he retired from his job. He's a very simple, humble, poor person. He wanted to serve Islam. The idea came to his mind. He went to all of the embassies of Islamic countries in his country. Not the door high. Do you have anything as an embassy in your language talks about Islam? Further, Prussia, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, uh, Pakistan, Malaysia, any, anything. So he brought from Malayo, Russian, Spanish, you know, Italia, whatever, anything he was able, he put it there. So when someone stops him, he just, you know, sometimes, even if you don't know the language, sometimes one or two words can tell you what is the language. Like, for example, me, Italiano, but I use no, it's Italian. So, no need to know, you know, Italian language, just you hear the Italiano. Or, or okay, Baroski, Ruski, okay, it's Russian, no problem. So he can pick it, just give him, you know, introduction to Islam. Now my point, the story is finished. I was trying to reflect upon this story to send the following two messages. The first message, don't wait any big things to serve Islam. In what Allah has given you, please have the concern, ask Allah to help you, what can I do with what I have? Because none of us, but, but is gifted. I repeat, none of us, but, but, is gifted. You have something. I don't know what is it. You know it. Okay? Your personality, your time, network connections, your skills. I don't know. Allah has given you a lot of things. Every one of you is gifted with something. Okay? So it's not just the money. Don't wait to be expert in Islamic studies to serve Islam. Don't wait to be a multimillionaire to serve Islam. Don't wait to... No, 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 no. In what you have, what can I do? Ask Allah. Ask the people around you. I connect this with the following simple information that I have repeated I myself maybe 10 times since I came, which is one of the beautiful things of Islam. In addition, or I personally say it, that one of the most beautiful things in Islam for me after believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that the accountability in Islam is dependable just on two things, intention, niyyah, and effort, regardless of the results. Allah is not asking you about the result. You will not be held accountable for results. You will be held accountable for your intention and your efforts. Was the intention for Allah or there was a shirk, you know, association something, Am I was showing off for Riyah or for Allah, this is, we will be held accountable. Second point, have I done my best in what I can, which means effort. But the result, no problem, don't worry about that. If we combine this 
with such a beautiful story, with what Allah has gifted you, I think none of us but can do something for the sake of this great religion. Alhamdulillah, ala ni'matil Islam. Alhamdulillah, ala ni'matil Islam. Alhamdulillah, ala ni'matil Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help all of us to be excellent. Bi'idhmillah, genuine servants for Islam. Zahirullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.